The Dallas ISD superintendent says police know who was involved in yesterday's shooting outside Thomas Jefferson High School. A student was shot in the arm in the parking lot after classes let out for the day. The superintendent says a car with two people inside took off after the shooting. Fox 4's Alex Boyer joining us now live from the school. And Alex, I know classes were canceled today, right? Yeah, they were indeed. Teachers were here on campus, but students uh, were not. Now, the superintendent uh, declined to release many of the details today, citing the ongoing investigation. We do know that three people uh, were involved in this incident. At least two of them are students here at the school. And while no arrests have been made, as you mentioned, police believe they know exactly who they're looking for. Yesterday was tough. Dallas ISD Superintendent Dr. Stephanie Elizaldi giving an update on a shooting that occurred outside Thomas Jefferson High School Tuesday after classes were dismissed. A student was shot in the arm. A car involved in the shooting drove off afterward. There were two individuals who were in the vehicle uh, from where the um, incident occurred towards the one individual who was in the parking lot. Elizaldi said the violent encounter was captured on campus security cameras. She said at least two of the three people involved are students of the school. Elizaldi did not know if the shooter got out of the car to open fire. We do have information. We do feel confident that there's going to be a resolution. The Dallas ISD Police Department is leading the investigation. DPD will offer support. The school's principal says three staffers who were nearby rushed to the aid of the injured student who is believed to have suffered non-life-threatening injuries. Our athletic trainer um, was able to render first aid. Um, our band director um, was the employee who called 911 within about 30 seconds. And our assistant athletic coordinator um, was the employee who was able to call me um, all about simultaneously. Principal Ben Jones declined to comment on the condition of the student, but did say he has spoken to the student's parents. As the investigation continues, the superintendent says the district will look into ways to better secure campus parking lots, calling for lawmakers to increase the school security allotment from $10 per student currently to $200. There will also be an increased police presence at the school and the adjacent Walnut Hill Leadership Academy for the remainder of the week. But in today's time, there is not a day until I go to sleep. There is not a day that I'm not worried about something happening on a school ground, period. We are okay. We will continue to be okay because the TJ family is strong. And I should clarify that administrators were the ones on campus today. A motive for the shooting remains unclear, but counselors were on hand today for any of those staffers who needed uh, to talk and process what happened. They will be here again tomorrow when students return to campus. Heather. All right. Alex Boyer, live. Thank you.